Right people, time for an update. As I've now officially been awarded the worst YouTuber in the world award. Three months. Yeah, I've uh, been posting a lot of stuff up on Facebook. I'll have to drop a link for uh, anyone following these videos. But it's a more regular feed of uh, Mechanicum stuff on the old Facebook page that I've got running for this. But as you can see, I've started work on the Ferra Mori. Which is going to be the first Titan in my Legio Mortis build. Got quite far so far. But I'm waiting on a replacement bit from Forge World. Because the bit I got was shocking. Um, so I managed to get the interior sort of base coat. Jesus, this camera quality is crap. Um, I'll try and put some stills at the end of this. Because you can't really see enough all in this. Um, there we go. I managed to get most of the interior done. So far, I mean, it's not really much to show at the moment. One thing I have done, different, just to personalise it, because he's going to be my Primus uh, Princept, is you might notice the head is different from the Forge World one. I actually drilled out the original Princept's head. It's like a bald head with a couple of pipes on it. Replaced it with the... Kalis Typhon head, sunk it in there, just something a bit different, personalise it up a little bit more. So as usual, gone ahead and magnetised all the, um, the void shield generators, whatever you want to call them, the old little projectors. Um, this little bad boy, all got some magnets in, got, oh look at that, breaking already, and it's only blue tacked together at the moment. Um, Easy painting, and last thing I magnetised, show you, get that out of the way, is this bad boy. Magnetised the old, uh, you're going to focus in there, magnetised the tech priest in as well. I can actually pull these out, I don't glue them in yet, because it's the piece I'm waiting for, the neck piece. So, um, got the interior, which is a shame really, because they are lovely detailed pieces. It's just, once they're glued in, you ain't going to be seeing naff all of that. See that little bit there? That's pretty badass. But yeah, he's just going to stand on his, stand on his little sort of magnet there. Play with some computer screens. So that's so far, Titan work. Just show you some other little bits, incomplete bits. So, add a little bit of a play and thought, obviously, Sons of Horus, massive part of Legio Mortis and the storyline. Um, knock this guy out. Not really going to use him in a game, but just something fun to do that's not painting uh, bronze, metal, or blacks. Um, and then we've got our first squad of 50. Yeah, 15 uh, Adseculars tech thralls with the old Laslocks. Pretty awesome. Lush models. But I'm having a bit of um, Games Workshop Forge World Rage at the moment. And then the old uh, Mitra Locks, the old shotgun ones. Every time I seem to start a project. Hold on, we go. I'll show you the Avenger one I'm here. Well, before I start ranting. Yeah, so here's the Avenger. Yeah, as I said, I'm having a bit of a rant at the moment because every time I seem to start a project, I just get started, pour a lot of money into it, and then whatever I'm doing, official models get released. So I'm doing my Titan Legion. I knock up a couple of uh, squads of these Ad Seculars. And then I hear rumours that Plastic Skitari are coming out. Well, as you probably know on my previous videos, those, I only bought those Ad Seculars as step-in Skitari, because obviously the Titan Legions have um, Skitari on the ground. They've got their own sort of battalions of, uh, of Skitari with them. Let me try and focus in on that logo. I'll go on to those in a minute. Some little decals of Legio Mortis. Christ, and he drops it then. Um, yeah, so it happened to me 
when I was doing my Death Guard army, masses and masses of uh, GW Metal Plague Marines, happy days, paint them all up, literally seven days passes after I finish, Forger will bring out um, the Death Guard upgrade kits when they're doing their Vrax campaign. Obviously, I went ahead and bought them because they're stunning and I still love them now. It just fucking pisses me off. Every time. So if, 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 you, if you really want something, if you like absolutely dire for something, I know, an Imperial Guard Leviathan, let's say, and you want it to come out, message me, I'll build one, pour a shitload of money into it, and seven days later, guarantee you, they'll release a plastic kit of it. Because it, oh god, it happens to me all the time. But anyway, let's see if these rumours come true. April, May. Might be uh, putting the ad cyclists in the uh, on the back line, let's say, because I might be getting my uh, Skatari plastic kit. But anyway, that's all news and rumours. While I'm here, I'll just show you all this. I'll just talk about the old uh, decal sheet. That one, as you probably noticed, is a Legio Mortis symbol. And that's the Forger Old Mechanicum symbol from the Iron Hands patch. We've got one back here as well. It's actually from a company called Bedlam Creations, I believe they're called. I'll have to put a link in the, uh, the description. I messaged them, they're an American company, and they make decal sheets. And they designed, I gave them a sort of picture out of the heresy book of what I wanted. They came back to me in a couple of days, so is this what you want? It's perfect. And they printed me an A4 sheet off of different sizes, so half black, half white. Uh, I chuffed a bit to them, to be honest with you. They're super thin, they're just as good as the uh, the Forger Land Games Workshop decal sheets, and they go on lovely. So I can't really complain. I put a leak in. A leak, a leak, a link in the uh, description below, and um, so you can check them out if you ever need some personalised decal sheets. They are the ones to go for. They are they're really good company, good communication. I really should be talking about this Avenger. Really, I'll have a natter about it. You can't see naff all on this. Can't get the light at all. It's black base coat. Hit it with loads of uh, greys. And I don't know if you can tell. Try to get my finger on screen now. Do, 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 do. Around this region here, right, you'll see blues, greens, a sort of oily oil and water effect. It's not coming up, right? You're gonna have to go on the Facebook page and check out the still pictures because this has been filmed on an iPad at the moment. You can't see it. Well, I can't see it. It may come out differently when the video is uploaded. All around the engine housing, do, do, here we've got browns and stuff, and it's all sort of stained and heat stained and. It looks black, but it's pretty much multicoloured. That's the way I like it. Um, lots of heat staining on the old afterburners. Red canopy. Uh, tell me a clear red. Obviously, you've got all the uh, interior painted up. If you guys are interested, I do strongly suggest looking at stills on my Facebook page. I've got to this, which I'll put a link up. If, if, if you can't find the link, it's just type in on Google. Reva Kill Studio, all one word, and it'll come up with Gary Church, Reva Kill Studio. Just click on that, add me as a friend. It's like uh, a separate Facebook account I run for my miniatures, so I don't sort of mix work and hobby together. But anyway, that's the Avenger. They're the Atseculars, and a Tech Marine, and some random bloke at the back with some servo skulls. While I'm here, might as well show you them if it focuses. Yeah, the little um, objective markers are using them, and he's just a character in a little campaign we're playing. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. I'll do some more updates, and I promise to be a better YouTuber, and then I'll uh, update you some more.